as you are on strike as a student, as an undergraduate in Nigeria, what else can you do? What can you do while ASU gets their hearts together with the federal government of Nigeria? <laughs> ASU, 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 you people finally did it. Hmm? The strike don't start, my people. Hmm. The life of a student in Nigeria. I really don't know where we are going to go from here. Like some of you asked in the comment section of the previous video that I did on ASU strike. So I'm here today to give you some things that you can do while ASU is on strike so that you don't waste your time Netflixing, you don't you waste your time just in a way doing social media, you don't waste your time sleeping, playing game. It's actually a time of reflection, the time that you can use to actually become a better person and develop yourself mentally and psychologically in all forms and different in different ways. There are different things that you can do within this one month money strike that they have. My darlings, share this video till it gets to all on the graduates in Nigeria that their schools and the universities are currently on strike so that we can have well-rounded graduates. If you want me to do a video on being a well-rounded graduate and how you can be a well-rounded graduate by the time you're out of university, despite all the ups and downs, leave a comment below and I'll make a video for you on how to become a well-rounded graduate who is able to, you know, <laughs> live life to the fullest. Number one, work for free somewhere. I know some of you are probably on industrial attachment right now if you are in 300 level. But whatever level that you are in, 100 level, 200 level, find somewhere that you can work for free. It is not always about the money. Because at the end of the day, you are wondering why employers always, employers always ask for 10 years experience or 5 years experience for graduates. It starts from there. So start gathering your experiences now. Don't waste the time that you have. Because when you work somewhere, you can always put in your CV that you worked somewhere. And it keeps accumulating, even if it is for. 30 days, you will still have something to report and put in your CV. You will not have an empty CV. I hope you get what I mean. And then the other thing that you can do is to volunteer for a World Cross. So if you know somebody that has an NGO, that um, you know maybe you have passion for youth, you have passion for teenagers, you have passion for children, challenged individuals, whatever it is, find a voluntary place, a place to volunteer and offer your services. So if you know how to cook, find out how to cook, um, there's something they call cooking foundation. So you can join forces with them and just be useful. Food Bank of Lagos, you can just go there and help along the way so find a worthy voluntary into your organization to join don't waste the time because that voluntary service you can also put it in your cv as part of what you did with your free time and it will boost you as an individual to show that you are responsible and that you value your time and use your time for good things then number three learn a trade so this is a good time if you don't know how to do forex trading you can learn how to trade right now because you have free time in your hands you're not going for lectures you're waiting to go back to school so what can you do while you're waiting you can learn a trade and apart from forex trading then the trade can also mean you can learn how to you know sell hair, sell whatever. There are a lot of things that you can sell right now online. So what are you going to do with this free time? You can learn the trade, you can learn how to do a business, you can learn how to turn money over. Maybe your mom, your aunt, or somebody that you know has a store somewhere and you can just go to the store and see how the business operates, the day-to-day -day activities, and see where you can even, you know, maybe see whether even business, maybe you like to do business, maybe it's something that you like to do. And you can even bring in a set of fresh eyes into that trade and be able to tell them, oh, why don't you do it this way? Or why don't you do it that way? And it will be a winning situation for you at the end of the day. As and you don't strike again. As you have strike again, I am done. Another thing that you can do while ASU is on strike is get a skill. So you can get a skill, you can go and learn how to sew, you can go and learn how to make wigs. There are a lot of things that you can do on YouTube that you can learn on YouTube these days. You can learn how to type in, you can learn how to do makeup, you can learn how to do massage. There are lots of things that you can learn. So learn a skill that when you get back to school, you can monetize. You can learn, and learn how to barb hair. You understand? Yeah. So if you learn how to barb hair, you can start charging your fellow students when you resume school that, oh, let me barb your hair for you. And then from there, you start making money for yourself. You don't have to do yahoo yahoo or join bad gang and try be trying to chill with the big boys and they start beheading people's children up and down. Do not join bad gang. Do not join bad gang. Another thing that you can do while ASU is on strike, read about true leadership. Read about leadership, read about business, read about something that you've always wanted to learn about and increase your knowledge by increase your knowledge about something. So reading about leadership is going to take you, go a long way in helping you become a great, better leader and helping you read about the economy, read about Nigerian history. Know more about Nigeria, you know, spend your time consuming good knowledge, not just content, consuming good knowledge that will be of benefit to you. So 
since you're not in school right now, you, know, you can read your course outline, you can read ahead of the class, so then when you resume school, you can be able to do better in class. But apart from that, if that's not even really your thing or you're not really interested in reading school book, read about something that is of interest to you so that you can be a more rounded individual. Um, another thing that you can do while Susan Strike is to take a course on Coursera, Udemy, there are lots of them, Edu, there are lots of them. So take a course. And mind you, digital marketing, anything digital is the future. So learn something, data science, something about data science, data management, business analytics, project management. There are lots of things that you can learn online for free. So go ahead and learn, take a course and you know, know it. You never know what will be useful for you tomorrow. That will also boost your CV. Another thing that you can do while asking is to find a mentor. Find a mentor, visit a mentor. Someone that you look up to, someone that, has, that is doing what you would love to do in the future, someone that has become what you would like to become in the future. You have access to them, you're able to gain access. Find out you can even gain access to them, even if you don't have the access right now. There's somebody, there's a rule of six. The person that you want to meet or the person that you want to know is six people away from you. So by asking questions, oh, uncle, do you know this person? Uncle will remember, oh, this person probably went to school, you understand? So you are six people away from the president. If only you will ask the right question and you will make the right move. So visit a mentor and be able to learn one or two things from your mentor and be able to, you know, position yourself for the future so that when you get to that future, you can be able to know the right action and the right things to do. So, so another thing that you can do while actually is on strike, examine the environment around you. You know, you've probably been in school, you know, for the last one year or more and you've not had the opportunity to scan the environment around you. Scan the environment around you and be able to see, oh, what do people do for daily living here? How can I come in? So some of them might have small businesses that are not online. So you can help them to open Instagram accounts and help them to set it up properly. And you can make your full cash. Yes, you can actually do that. And then you can also just examine your environment and see, okay, wow, this kind of business moves very fast in this kind of area. And you can even make recommendations and help people to do the market research and be able to um, bring something to the table and be able to add value to your society. So scan the environment around you and plug in and be able to see what's moving and what's, you know, like um, it will soon be like mango season. So if mango is a lot in your area, you can decide that, oh, let me start selling mango online. You understand? And then you help, especially Obumosho mango is very, very, very good. Um, they call it sherry mango. So imagine you're in Obumosho, school is on strike. You can sell mango online. It's in season, and then ship it to anywhere. You know, my, my, my friend recently ordered some some fruits and some in season fruits from all the way from just you understand. So you can actually do that. So scan your environment and see the opportunities and see how you can plug it and leverage your social media to do it. You can do it. Another thing that you can do while ASU is on strike. Yes, it's you that I'm talking to. While ASU is on strike, is to sell something online. So this sort of dovetails into what I've said before. Sell something online. Find something to sell. If you're already selling, increase your capacity, put more energy into it. If you are not, find what to sell online and sell. It doesn't get any easier or better than that. You know, find the best selling items on Jumia and get where you can get them in good prices and start selling. It doesn't, business is not more than that. Another thing that you can do while ASU is on strike is to write down your dreams and aspirations. Write down your dreams, your ideas and meditate on them. You cannot feature in the future that you cannot picture. I'll say that again. You cannot feature in the future that you cannot picture. So you need to use this time as a time of reflection, like I said at the beginning of this video. You need to think deep and visualize who you want to become. And that is one of the reasons why I mentioned that you should find a mentor and visit a mentor. So sit down, write down your dream. The Bible says, write the vision, make it clear that in your wrong with it, that reads it. So write down your vision for your life and pray. But this is the time for you to also pray. So while I and strength, pray, seek the face of God and let God tell you what your future looks like so that you can rightly position yourself for the future that you are believing God for. So finally, another thing that you can do <laughs> while Asu is on strike, is that you should share this video so that more of your friends can see it and like it and join the billionaire gang. So once again, this is Queen Billion. I hope this has been insightful for you and I hope you gain one or two things and you gain insight and direction as to what you can do while Asu is on strike. Let them be doing their own. You have your life to do. You have your own future ahead of you. So while Asu is on strike, it's not the time to sleep. It's not the time to slack. 
is the time for you to position yourself for the future you want to feature in. My darlings, share this video till it gets to all undergraduates in Nigeria that their schools and their universities are currently on strike so that we can have well-rounded graduates. If you want me to do a video on being a well-rounded graduate and how you can be a well-rounded graduate by the time you are out of university, despite all the ups and downs, leave a comment below and I will make a video for you on how to become a well-rounded graduate who is able to, you know, <laughs> live life to the fullest. Once again, thank you for watching. Queen Billion, signing out. As you don't strike again, as you have strike again, I am done. Nigeria, I am done. Nigeria.